Bright and early in the morning, and right now, I'm freezing to death. But it's supposed to be 90 this afternoon, so uh, I don't think I'm gonna regret not bringing a sweatshirt in when I'm hiking out. And on the hike in, I came across a spot that has three boil holes. Now normally, I don't bother with the boil holes because they usually are smooth on the bottom and it just gets cleaned out every year. But these are a, I don't know if I'd say a good example, but they're an example of a boil hole you might want to look at because there's a crevice running down through all three of them. In this case, it's not so much a crevice, it is a quartz seam. And the quartz seams have a tendency to rot so there could be some holes in the bottom that might hold some gold. So uh, before we get up to where I'm planning on going, I thought, well, I'd stop, say good morning, and I'll show you these boil holes, and we'll take uh, five minutes out, and we'll check them to see if there's any gold in them. OK, you can see here we have our three boil holes. This one actually looks the best out of the three to me. But you can see right here, we got a crevice going through all three of these holes. Now, this looks pretty good right in here. So we're gonna clean this out. Hopefully it's not too terribly deep. And if this crack continues across the bottom, there could be some gold in here. So we'll clean her out and find out. Now, the fact that this is really packed in here hard is good. If this does loose, if this was loose, I uh, wouldn't even waste my time on it. Now the, the larger rocks, you know, we just throw them out, but all this gravel, we want to go ahead and start saving that. Because anytime you get the gravel that's really packed solid like this, um, there could be gold in it anywhere. Almost to the bottom. And it looks like we have a round, smooth bottom. Which is not good. There is a small crack in the bottom. Okay, we'll take this down and pan it and see how we did. Well, we got that all panned out and there wasn't so much as a fleck of gold in there. The uh, crack on the bottom just wasn't big enough to hold anything. And no boil holes, they didn't get round and more like that by just sitting there. So, you know, most every flood they're working. So unless there's a crack or something to hold the gold in the bottom, usually you won't find anything in them. Well, this little video wasn't supposed to be a video. Uh, it was actually part of another video that Jeff and I went up to work on. And that video just turned out to be too long when I edited it out. 
So I cut this part out and I thought, rather than just hucking it, you know, um, this explains to people why I don't, I get a lot of people wondering why I don't do boil holes and this explains a lot of the reason why. So I thought I'll just make a little standalone video and uh, stick it in between my, my regular videos. Now, the good news is, well, I don't know if it's good news, but there's no gold to weigh, so we don't got to worry about that part. And then, uh, right after I get done here, there's a little, I got a little clip that I put on here that uh, I was up sniping one day, and I noticed a rock that would spin around every now and then, and then just sit there and spin around. And I got looking, and I think it's the birth of a boil hole, because you can definitely see where it's grinding on the bedrock, starting a boil hole. So I stuck that little clip in right after I'm done talking here, which I'm done talking here. So you guys have a wonderful day.